<clears throat> i'll tell you the story of how you know many many of us you know why understanding history why understanding classical homeopathy is so important in today's times and how many many new methods have actually unfortunately robbed us of uh, of really pure classical homeopathy and that's what i want to bring back uh, uh, stimulate all of you to go back to that and that's what i want to tell you the story of uh, master kent so let me tell you the story okay so many years back what happened yes what happened was kent was treating um, a couple of cases of of infants who are having diarrhea so kent kind of uh, you know gave typical remedies like for diarrhea you know podophyllum or oleander or you know arsenic and all all common remedies that you would normally think therapeutically for diarrhea but unfortunately none of them really helped the child and kent master kent you know he started thinking why is why is this why is this diarrhea not getting treated strangely you know kent would think why and then he he studied the entire cases again and that's when the children's you know the children's uh, uh, people who brought the children here started saying that you know there are many many children here in in our kind of school who are having similar diarrhea and they are not getting better so ken started thinking there must be something here and he started thinking more about it and what he found out was then in one of the child the child had a very peculiar symptom i will show you the symptom the child had a very peculiar symptom and that was that his occiput occiput is the part behind the neck was sunken okay that was sunken so he looked at this symptom you know sunken occiput and they were losing a lot of weight so sunken looking at this symptom sunken occiput he found out the remedy and that there was only one remedy in sunken occiput and the remedy you can see was magnesium top so looking at this sunken occiput he prescribed magnesium top very interesting so looking at this sunken occiput he prescribed magnesium top and wow he prescribed magnesium carb and not just one not just second not just third everyone's diarrhea started improving in that kind of um, school or like a dormitory and then he tried to find out what is what is this what is happening here and then <clears throat> the 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 school the authority started telling that actually what is happening is that these are many of these children are actually coming from clandestine relationships that is the parents of of these children are 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 parents who probably don't want the children anymore after having clandestine affairs or relationships so they would just you know they would dump the child there and now understanding this entire story the homeopathic world started understanding that oh possibly possibly if someone is abandoning their child there the child must be feeling abandoned and that's how the whole the whole theme the whole sensation whole whole feeling of abandoned of of forsaken of feeling left out or forsaken abandoned this is how the feeling actually came up and this is how we we say that okay magnesium are forsaken and that's why i tell you that you know always try to go in depth and try to understand how did it actually form you know one of my teacher dr shortcar used to tell me that whenever you want to go ahead always go two step behind go back into past and study the history if you want to go one step ahead so interesting you know, the story of magnesium cup and the story of master kent so beautiful it brings me it brings a smile on my face every time i think about magnesium cup and how how master kent must have found sunken occiput and how he must have failed giving podophyllum and all that and how he must have felt it must have felt he must have felt a little bit like sherlock holmes no like like a master detective <laughs> so interesting <laughs>